One of the leading causes of death in the United States is sudden cardiac arrest, killing more than 300,000 people each year. The month of October is dedicated to raising awareness of sudden cardiac arrest. We have Dr. Andre Gori of Spectrum Health with us. You're a cardiologist, but you have a real specific specialty that relates to sudden cardiac arrest. Yeah, I'm what you call a cardiac electrophysiologist, which is essentially a cardiologist that specializes in heart rhythm problems and sudden cardiac arrest is a heart rhythm problem. Okay, and so we talk about sudden cardiac arrest. We are talking about um, the, the heart stopping? Yeah, so essentially what it is is when the heart goes into a very chaotic rhythm. It essentially shakes and beats so fast that it cannot pump blood to the rest of your body. And as a result, um, if blood is not being pumped to the rest of your body, you become unconscious. And unless you get treated with a shock or a defibrillation, a uh, patient will die. Okay, and so we're looking at uh, this video on our screen, a, a diagram of what it is, a normal heart rhythm here? Right, so the top uh, panel there shows a normal heart rhythm, and the bottom squiggly line is when the heart is in ventricular fibrillation, which is the technical term for the rhythm that causes sudden cardiac arrest. Are there specific symptoms that would alert someone that they were having this issue? Yeah, well, so what I like to tell people is that if someone, if you see someone down on the ground, assume they have sudden cardiac arrest until proven otherwise. Because it's so common. Well, it yes, it is um, the second leading cause of death in this country. The, the leading cause is all cancers combined. Okay. The second leading cause is sudden cardiac wow, arrest. So this is a big one. This is a big one. So when someone is on the ground, what people need to do is have an action plan. You don't want to just sit there and watch somebody die of sudden cardiac arrest. And so what is that action plan? So, great question. So, um, October is Sudden Cardiac Awareness Month, and so one of the goals of that is to promote what this action plan is. And it's essentially three steps. The first step is to call 911, notify the emergency uh, uh, plan system. Number two, start doing CPR. And number three, get a defibrillator or an AED, which is the device that can shock the heart back to normal rhythm and save a life. And a lot of buildings, a lot of businesses, a lot of schools have these now. We are seeing those in more public places. Yeah, yeah. As the awareness of this, of this disease has um, become more common, more and more people are realizing that defibrillators save lives and that having them in a <clears throat> location where there are lots of people and it's more common to have uh, sudden cardiac arrest, having people trained in CPR and having an AED will save lives that and people, has saved lives. That people know how to use, right, that right. are right there on site in that facility. I'm thinking, you know, churches, those gathering yeah. places, people of all ages. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about who is at risk for this because this isn't something that really discriminates between young and old. Right, absolutely. Um, it affects it can affect anyone from all ages. Um, the people who have a known history of heart disease are at more at an increased risk of this. Um, if there's a family history of dying at an early age or if they have other comorbidities or risk factors such as high blood pressure, smoking, obesity, etc. But at the same time, even young people who have no medical problems can fall to this um, disease. And there are some baseline testing maybe that's done, that is being done sometimes to make sure if you have this underlying issue? Yeah. The problem is there's lots of instances where people are seen by the doctor, they have um, a full workup, and then weeks later have this problem. So there's not a great test that can screen to prevent this. The key point is that people need to know how to treat it when it occurs. When it happens, you have to be able to identify it and you have to take action. I mean, we're talking a matter of minutes can save a life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if a patient has sudden cardiac arrest, every minute counts. So if 10 minutes go by where no CPR is being administered, there's almost no chance of, of saving that patient. Where if the patient gets defibrillated and CPR right away, there's a very good chance that patient's going to live. Okay, and you were telling me that um, people, that CPR is becoming a lot e easier, less intimidating for right. people to do. Right, absolutely. And that's one of the main focuses of Sudden Cardiac Awareness Month is to get people to recognize it and know that just simple hands-only CPR. It used to be um, having to give breaths and uh, do compressions at the same time. It was complicated and daunting. Now there's been studies showing that hands-only CPR, so simply just thumping on the chest um, until help comes can, can save lives. And there's videos on YouTube or Google, hands-only CPR, that I would encourage the audience to go look at. 
and or come to a training program like we're having at Spectrum. Yeah, you're having a great program coming up at the end of November. Tell us about what you're going to be touching on at that symposium. Yeah, so um, this uh, November 30th, we're having an event at the Prince Center where we're going to be educating the community about what sudden cardiac arrest is and how to treat it and uh, learn how to do hands-only CPR as well as learn how to use a defibrillator. These AEDs are very user-friendly now. The device talks to you, tells you what to do, and um, we'll also be raffling off some of these uh, AEDs for uh, organizations to, to acquire. Yeah, that is really great. It's free, it's open to the public to attend. You don't even have to register. Correct. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. And if people are interested in getting in, in touch with you and your practice about uh, maybe this particular topic, m October's coming to an end, but we know this is life-saving information we need all year long. Yep, absolutely. How absolutely. do they reach out to you? Um, our website or um, our, te our telephone number, which is, um, I think... We have that information on yeah, our screen. Yeah, thank you so that. much. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Yeah. Gorey. Great information. Yeah. Thank you. And stay right there. More of 8 West when we come back. Are you wet?